Hey guys, it's Kai, um, and I have some kind of exciting news. So I'm getting two more tarantulas today. They're on their way. They should be here within the next hour. Um, and I just thought that I would take you guys through setting up their enclosures before they get here with me, um, just so I can be a little bit prepared. This is all that we're going to be using today. Um, I got these food storage containers at the Dollar Tree. I have this Reptis oil because I use it for kiwi and I use it for my other two tarantulas. I have this big plant. Um, I have a little bit of water and I have some cork bark that I'm going to break up to put in their enclosures. So I am getting a Hapalopus formosus. Um, I don't know if I'm saying that right don't like quote me on this stuff because I'm super bad at pronouncing scientific names um but their common name is the pumpkin patch tarantula um and they're gonna go in this because they're a dwarf tarantula and so they will be pretty small and I don't want to give them too much space and overwhelm them um I am also getting a um Oh God, I won't be able to pronounce this name. For Mangalichus rufus, which is a pretty advanced species of tarantula and I'm really excited to like challenge myself a little bit um, because I really love exotic pets and yeah, I'm just super excited to be bringing these couple of guys into my small collection okay so obviously this angle isn't the best but i don't have a tripod and so i'm just gonna make do um i'm gonna use this little cup to scoop plenty of substrate into this because um the pumpkin patch tarantula is a definite burrower and i'm gonna do my very best not to make a mess, but can't make any promises, I guess. Just a little bit more than that. Yeah, that's just about perfect. It's like three fourths of the way filled up with substrate. Um, now I have this cork bark. I got it off of Amazon uh, for pretty cheap. Um, and I'm going to have to break it to get a piece to make a little bro for my guy. I will do that off camera. Okay, obviously pretty tiny piece of cork bark. Um, I am just going to kind of strategically place it so that um, there's a little like starter burrow under there. Oh, 
fill in more substrate as needed. it um, you can't really see it in this lighting but I took um, a pair of feeding tongs and just like poked a little starter burrow right there but it's not really necessary um, but I'm gonna put one of these maybe two in to add just a little bit more coverage for it and to make it a little bit more appealing to the eye Now that that's all done, um, I will include a water dish. This is just a little um, bottle cap from a bottle of water that I saved. So there we have it. All we really need um, is the tarantula. Okay, now that that's done, we are going to make the enclosure for the P. rufus. Um, it's an arboreal tarantula, but I read that it does do a bit of burrowing, so I will be adding um, a few inches of substrate um, just to give it the opportunity. One more scoop. All right, that looks about good. Um, I am going to add in a fairly large piece of cork bark. Maybe I'll add in a couple of small pieces on second thought. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. And um, I'm going to add in some like foliage uh, like I did with the other one. Um, and these are just cheap pet smart plants. So, uh, yeah, just use whatever you can. Um, I'm not really comfortable putting live plants in my enclosures at this point. Um, I'll add in a little water dish, which is just a bottle cap again. I'm gonna wait to fill it until the tarantula is actually here um but yeah they're here um in case you want to know where i got these guys from i got them from seven wonders tarantulas um this video isn't sponsored i just um have heard about them through the grapevine in the tarantula community. um and i've heard that they are some of the best 
guys. Oh my god. They gave me a free one. They gave me a free one. Oh my god. Look how beautiful. I am going to have to set up a new um, enclosure. Um, I'm probably just going to use the same thing that I am going to put the pumpkin patch in. Uh, just for now. Until I can get something better for a terrestrial. Okay, again, I know not the best angle. I just don't have a tripod. Um, we're going to start with unboxing the pumpkin patch first. Ooh, she's way smaller than I thought that she was going to be. I need to put her in something smaller. I'll be right back. Honestly, think that I'm going to keep her in this cup that I used for the substrate. It used to be a super warm container. Um, it has ventilation holes in it already, and um, she's too small to squeeze through one of these. I'm still going to um, include this little uh, fake plant because it'll provide her some coverage. She's way too small for that piece of cork bark and for that enclosure that I made. She is so small that the camera won't really focus on her. But she is teeny, teeny, tiny. I um, found this that I got a few crystals in um, a while back and I think that I am going to use this. such a hard time focusing because she is so tiny. I uh, misted one side a little bit so if they are thirsty they can hop on over there and get a drink. Um, but yeah. Again, I know not the best angle I feel like this guy is going to be, oh yeah, this guy's a better size. Yeah, way better size, but I still don't know if I'm going to put him in that big enclosure. I might put him in one of the smaller ones, just for now. I have read about these guys being kind of bolty, so I just... I don't... Oh, there we go. So beautiful. Oh my god. I'm not going to fill the water dish up all the way. But I'll fill it up a decent bit and um, the substrate around it's a little wet if it needs a drink. 
Okay, this is the Nandu Chromatis. It came as a freebie. I didn't order it. Um, but I did a quick Google search. Um, set up a decent enclosure for it. Um, yeah. These videos would be a lot better with a tripod, but I don't have one and I don't really want to go buy one, so... I'm sorry. Okay, this one is also teeny teeny tiny, like the pumpkin patch. So, um, very, very small. Honestly, I'm just putting some substrate in this, and I'm going to try to cooks it back um, inside. This is so tiny, the camera just won't focus. But honestly, I think I might um, move the pumpkin patch into this as well and just put a little bit of substrate in it for them. Okay, now that we're all done, now I just need to figure out what to name them, so drop some name suggestions in the comments. Okay guys, um, that is it for today. Uh, make sure to like if you did and subscribe if you're not. Um, turn on the bell. I'm going to try to post every once in a while. I don't really want to have like a regular uploading schedule because I work full time and I'm a full time student and that is just too much sometimes. Um, but yeah, I have a bunch of social media as well that I will link in the description. Um, so, yeah. Bye.